I asked you guys to rate every emo in Stumble Guys 1 through 10. And in today's video, I will be winning a game of Stumble Guys with every emote best to worst. Starting things off with our number one spot, it's not actually even a real special emote. It is Taunt, and it's unanimous with 2,400 points that this is the best emote in Stumble, guys. And if you ask me, it needs to be nerfed because it's basically a shield and you can't be moved. I mean, just a little bit, but even then, as you can see, I was completely protected from falling off of the car. So this is going to be one of the more difficult challenges because Taunt is best paired with another emote emote but as the title suggests we are only able to use one emote at a time you'll also notice everyone else here is going to use taunt to cancel their momentum so if you have a small platform that you need to land on you can instantly taunt to stop yourself from sliding see which is really handy but it's also really annoying if you're trying to uh have a fast-paced like fun game instead everyone is kind of cowardly and just sits back and taunts so this is my official request for scopely to please nerf this emote. With that being said, it's a 1v1, and he's coming right for me. Please give us our first win. Oh, no. Dude, yes! You are terrible! Let's go! Okay. And we got our first win, moving on to the number two spot. In second place, we have Volleyball with 2,311 points. The reason this is so good is that if you have a race map and the other person does not have volleyball, you literally move twice as fast as them. And the fact that the cooldown is really quick makes it that much better as well. It's also useful on some elimination maps as well. Kind of like block dash, you can jump over the formations. That's why it's coming in at the number two spot. Again, this is completely unbiased. This is all coming from you guys. If the list was a little bit different and it was based on what would get you the most wins, I think volleyball would be number one because in public lobbies, you get a lot of race map finals and you just need to have volleyball. But with that being said, this is just like overall. So I think I agree that taunt might be the best but as you can see here if i did not have volleyball i would not be able to catch up right now and therefore lose the game but instead we go from pretty much ninth place to now sixth okay this is what we needed floor flip with volleyball 10 out of 10 let's see if we can get across before everyone else wait and now's our time if you don't have volleyball you're pretty much screwed <laughs> i'm not good at this final trick over here but I believe if you time your jump, you can skip this gap here. Yes! And just like that, we are now on to the third spot on our list. With 2,242 points, coming in at third, we got Punch. And this is one of my go-tos because I love to play aggressive. I hate not being able to punch people back or hit people off. For example, see you later. <gasps> David, do you have Punch? No? Oh, well, maybe next time. <laughs> what up, Kim? Yo, don't spit on me. So we know he has spit, and they probably maybe have dice roll, since this is in the current stumble pass. We're going for him. Oh, that almost hit me, not gonna lie. Goodbye. You thought I had a gold skin and just didn't have emotes? I think we're gonna let him cross first, because he seems like he's not all that confident. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> All right. And just like that, one of the easiest so far. On to number four. And coming in at number four, as you can probably imagine, we have Fire Punch, which is basically punch that has a little bit more pizzazz. But it has 2,208 points, meaning it's literally just a few votes behind punch. What is this guy doing? I still can't believe that's a skin and stumble, guys. I will not lose to him. He's got to be dead. Die. Please. Yes! No! He's back! The naked gnome! Please! Oh my god. This is so not what I was expected. Please! Oh my god. Top three. Top three. Top two. Yeah! Back to back wins. Getting both punches off the board. At the number five slot, we have Kick. And Kick was only two points away from surpassing Fire Punch. So this has 2,206 points. And actually, oh, funny enough, Bombardment is one of my favorite maps to use kick on because you can kick the bombs. 
Okay, that was a terrible example. All right, there's only 50 seconds left in the game. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to land a bomb kick. And there's 15 people still alive. Let's see if we can uh, scoop up some of these players. As you can see, you can hit a bunch of people all at once with one kick. Got four right there. Try to disperse them a little. Come on, stop playing so lame. Yes, got a few out. Scoop them up, push them. Yes, he got hit by that bomb. Oh my, no, please. Um, I don't think I can make that jump, can I? Uh, I think we're just gonna hope for the best. Oh, he's coming over here. Oh, one second, and we won! Dude, I swear I always win the time breakers. But there is win number five, on to number six. And yep, you guessed it, we got water kick. Again, the 2.0 version of kick uh, just has some water effects. But this has 2,185 points. This guy has sub to chase in his name. Where's sub to Baby Yoda, huh? I'm trying to hit a mill. I wonder if I could actually hit it this year. No, dude, what was that? The dice roll made me fall. It didn't even bump me. All right, we got an interesting one. We are on Tetris. I don't know how useful a kick will be here, but I'm gonna try to use it as kind of like a taunt and try to cancel out emotes and abilities. This is actually moving along quite fast. Tetris typically goes for at least five minutes, but not this lobby. We're now to the point where kick won't really even matter. Wait, it's 1v1. Let's go over to where he's at. There's way more space here. <gasps> Fireballs, no, please, please don't get me out. Please don't get me out, please. No, yes! Woo! That is the most dangerous tile by far. With 2,183, we have the Tetris emote. I think for a lot of you, this will be surprising for how low it is on our list. Because most people, if you would ask them, I think would say Tetris is top five. Oh, did you just see that? Unintentionally getting comboed with the banana. Uh, but yeah, Tetris is so good for close up and far away. The one thing that they did nerf a little bit is the trajectory at which the Tetris flies out. One of my favorite things about Tetris though is that it actually takes skill most of the time when you are far away because you do have to land snipes. Two people in front of us making our way towards the front. Oh, they got each other out. If you ask me, it should be way higher. But that was only two votes off from sixth place. I know I was just complaining about the last rating, but this one is atrocious. At number eight, we have the brand new dice roll. And I honestly think the only reason it's not higher is because you guys don't have the new stumble pass. This emote is so good. From any distance, close or far, I mean, dude, it's so good. How is this not top three? You guys are wrong. You could straight up are wrong. And he tried to use sword. You think sword's better than the dice roll? No shot. Uh, that had 2,035 points. So considerably lower than Tetris. Number nine with 1,751 points, we got a worse punch called Spatula. It was part of the uh, SpongeBob collab. But other than that, I would still consider punch to be better. There are some people that use it to clutch on block dash. I'm not sure the reasoning behind it is because I'm not good at the level. And get spatula. <gasps> He's back. No, 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 no. Please. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Goodbye. See ya. <laughs> and there it is. At number 10, with only five points behind Spatula, we got Invisibility, which again, this emote isn't great on its own, but when paired up with another emote like Punch, it is so good. But this is where they listed it, at 10. If you ask me, it's worth putting top five. It's unbelievable the advantage you have on an elimination map. If you have invis and someone does not. I am a little bit biased because my red name makes me stick out like a sore thumb. And any ability that allows me to, you know, not die instantly is a win for me. Hold on, are we gonna do it again? You know what, I'm gonna shove him off. Let's try it. No! One second from winning. Well, the good news is this is another map that we can actually run away from players. Literally, we're gonna do exactly that. And unfortunately, it's not going to be the most entertaining content because we have no choice but to play safe. So we are gonna play hide and seek and hopefully they don't find me. Okay, it's a 1v1. It's just me and this robot. I have never seen any good player consistently use that skin. So I'm just gonna bet that he's gonna fall before we fall. 
We have to change our camera angle. And there we go. At number 11 with 1,710 points, we have a hug. And this is the point of the video where I would say these are mid emotes. I rarely find myself using this emote, but it's fun to troll with. The reason I don't use it is because you leave yourself open to just getting hit off like a lot of the time. Well, unfortunately, we have to do this again. And as you probably can guess, the next one also happens to be a version of hug. So um, we're gonna be in hug territory for a long, 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 long time. The other nice thing about hug is sometimes players will use it as a sign of like, we're friendly. So oftentimes people will just use hug when no one's nearby as a sign to be like, yo, relax, I'm not gonna hurt you. Wait, hold on, this is doable. This is more than doable. It's a 1v1. Me and Peter. I will win this 1v1. I don't think he's that good. Yeah. All right. Woo! I didn't use hug once, and that should tell you how not great it is. I wouldn't say bad. I wouldn't say good, though. For number 12, with 1,698 points, we got charge hug, which you have lightning <gasps> at your fingertips. Um, What just happened? Someone threw a dice, I think. And I slid across the map while holding another player in my hand. And since we're already top six, I'm just going to lock in and stop yapping. Cross here. <gasps> oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Run. Dive. Please. It's a 1v1. You're joking. Woo! We're finally past hug. In 13th, we have Shield with 1,478 points. And Shield would be way higher if uh, Taunt wasn't so darn broken. The one nice thing about Shield compared to Taunt is you can move around with it. So it has, I believe, like two seconds worth of protection. And you can also use it while diving if you want to be even quicker with it. So like that. Because normally, you would have to uh, digest the pellet to get the Shield. Because it is a Pac-Man emote. What up, Juan? Don't emote me. Don't emote me, please. Please, I'm picking. I cannot believe we just won that. At number 14, we have the Beast Lightning with 1,473. And Tetris is not the worst map we could possibly get. It's because there's so much open space. So let's go ahead and use it to our advantage. Okay, we got water. <gasps> no! That is the most unlucky thing that could have possibly happened. Okay, I'm adding a new rule that if I do not win this next game, I'm allowing myself to taunt. I hate to say it, but I just need it to win because everyone else uses it. It's not a special emote. It's pretty much a necessity in every single final. Oh my God, please. I need taunt. I'm sorry. It must be done. I guarantee that I win this game now that we have taunt. It is that polarizing. And you guys might say this is cheating, but as we get to the bottom of this tier list, I can't defend for myself. I literally can't. So let's just stand in the middle of the cart and just taunt. Look, I have these two cats that surrounding me. Are you guys friends or something? What's up with that? Oh, I'm dead. Betty, you son of, you suck. You suck, you suck. For this game, I'm literally not gonna say a single word and pay attention only to my character. Oh my god. That's all it took? Woo! In 15th, with 1,395, we have the Spit Emote, which happens to be really good, but at the same time, it can knock you back. So as you can see there, definitely one of the most mid, I wouldn't say one of the worst, I would, I would just say like middle bottom tier kind of deal. Deep breath. Am I in? Am I in? Okay, let's go again. Okay, let's try to show off the emo a little bit better here. So Tetris is all flat. Is the emo busted here? No, it actually works. So. It kind of works like the dice roll in that it has a straight trajectory, but there's no drop off. I think I should just play safe and use taunt. Cause like I said, we're allowing it. Wait, 1v1, dive to the middle. Oh no, how did I not touch that? That should have sent me off the map and I should have lost. Please lose, please lose. Little bro, please. <gasps> I'm speechless. 
because I was confident that guy was just better than me. We got lucky though. In number 16 with 1300 points, we have the sword, which the sword emote can hit a ton of players. It's kind of weird hitbox though, because it looks like it hits behind you, but it's only the front half of the circle, um, if that makes any sense. But this is also bottom six emotes. So I wouldn't even say top 16. We're just gonna go off of now being at the bottom tier, which the biggest reason for this being so low on our list is the startup lag. I'm not gonna dare to use the sword emote because I'll die for it. I don't know how I just won that. I'm tired. <laughs> Can we end this video? We have five more to go. 17th on our list, we have Banana with 1,288 points. And funny enough, this is the one map that Banana is actually good on. Let's actually try to use the emote, unlike the last, like, four games. Land, land. How did that not hit? No! No! Okay, we got UFOMG for finals, and I gotta be honest with you. I played the other event, and it looks like no real players are in here. So, if I lose this, I should be embarrassed. We have two bots left. Maybe there's one real person here. But hey, I am taking this as a win, because it's gonna show that I got an actual crown. Just to prove it to you, I'll show you after this game. I'll let you guys be the judge. Ah, uh, that's a little iffy. But it will show a crowd here, so I am taking it. I think I forgot to mention that is the fifth worst emote in the game. And the fourth, coming in with 1,263 points, we have, you guessed it, the gold banana. We are playing Mr. Beast Disco Drop, so we're not cheesing the system again, unless we have to, of course. What is this guy doing? He's confusing me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I am destined to get an elim with this banana. If it's the last thing I do, ready? throw. That's got to hit, hit. Aw. Just four more to go. This is the fourth worst emote in stumble, guys. Okay, jump to the next one. That could be it. Oh, come on, bruh. I can see why people don't use this emote. All right. Bye. Have a great time. Bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we're moving on to the bottom three. The third worst emote in the game is Karate Chop with 1,205 points, which I do not agree with at all. You cannot tell me this is worse than Banana. It's literally the same thing as Punch, but slightly worse. Banana, you have to be a football field away to actually be able to use. Okay. Okay. That's what I get for saying it's not that bad. What was that? The only way you could get this emote, by the way, is from a wheel when the SpongeBob collab was around. So that's why it's kind of like rare in a sense. I really don't know how I feel about this conclusion to this video. Half the lobbies we're getting, I'm just getting instantly deleted. And then the other ones, we got bots. <gasps> the emotes, do bro, this emote actually is bottom three. I genuinely take it back. I'm standing right next to them. It does not hit them. Okay, wait, 1v1. There's no way I lose to this bot. And second for the worst emo in Stumble, guys, we have the Mr. Beast briefcase, which after what we just saw with the Karate Chop, there's no way this is worse. At least this will hit consistently. As I say that, I do remember that it doesn't hit on impact. So that's the one caveat for the emote. It does have a better trajectory, though. This may, dude, mind your business. Maybe Rush Hour is actually decent with the emote. Because, you know, you can throw it to different cars. And there's a possibility that they land into it. This is our moment, Caesar. Oh, I'm going before you. You waited way too long. We are now caught up to speed. Did he die? He did. Where's the last guy? Oh, on the opposite end. And we won! Yes! Oh my god! We only have the worst emote left. And by process of elimination, you probably know what it is. And coming in at spot 21 for the worst emo in Stumble, guys, with 736 points, we have Snowball. And if you're wondering, well, what does Snowball do? It's supposed to slow you down. It does put a really cool effect on you, but there's no knockback. It only is effective for about a second, but it is almost impossible to die from it. Okay, um, we are top two here, so this could be our last game. Please! 
We won our first game using Snowball. That is a miracle. Let's go over the entire list together because I'm sure you guys are curious. So we officially just got 21 wins with only using one emote at a time. In the first slot, we obviously have Taunt, which, Scopely, if you're watching this video, nerf Taunt. Or give me an option to turn it off for customs. And then second, obviously Volleyball. We have both of the punches, both of the kicks, then Tetris, then Dice. And then we have Spatula, Invisibility, both hugs, Shield, Lightning, Spit, Sword, both bananas, karate chop, the briefcase, and then finally, snowball. All right, well, that has been every emote in Stumble, guys. Comment down below what ranking you most disagree with. For me, it's gonna be dice roll. I think this should be top three. Better than punch. I, that might be a hot take. Maybe right above it. But as always, use code BABYYODA. Let me know what I should do next on this channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.